why is it more difficult to sleep in standing and and why is it easier to sleep while resting on the floor uh, see i enjoy making videos the most when i don't feel pressure so when i started this series of uh, the principles of movement or i could call it concepts like what is the difference between a concept and a principle? So in today's video, I only want to present you one principle of movement, which you could call leaning points, which we use to refine our ability to feel, um, to sense where we lean, <laughs> hence the name leaning points, where we lean against the floor, where we push against the floor. So what's the, what's the difference between leaning and pushing? So now I'm standing next to a wall, but when I touch the wall, when I touch the wall lightly, already some of my weight is being passed to the wall, half a kilo, a pound maybe. Who knows? There's no scales here, but there. So this is like touching the wall. And this would be like leaning against the wall. So I lean more. So more of my weight is passing. <laughs> How do we do this in English? And when I push, I, I create a tension. So I push with my feet against the floor and I push with my hands against, with my hands against. Please figure it out. So if I would be water, if I would only be water, I would like um, splash, right? But I'm not. So there's, there, there must be something inside of me which um, opposes gravity. My weight now passes to the floor or I'm pushing against it. I'm erecting myself against the floor and against the wall or I use both of my feet. How much weight to have on one leg and how much weight to have on the other and why is that important? Why am I doing this? We Fit can bring health and balance back into your life. It all starts with this. The We Balance Board. Using this innovative new accessory, your balance and movement will directly affect what's happening on screen. Lean left, right, forwards or back. The We Balance Board responds immediately to your actions. It's not about schooling, it's about <laughs> lifelong learning. So let's uh, do a, a movement sequence to understand better uh, what it means to understand leaning points. Where do you find support from the floor and where do you pass weight onto the floor? We have to pass our weight somewhere because we're not floating. Um, even though we are floating, we are, but we are not. So, um, as so often, please find a space on the floor, come to lie on the floor. I check if my recording is recording. Everything is all right. Please come to lie on the floor. Um, surface, as always, should be hard and soft. Comfy and not comfy. Yes, comfort. Comfort, comfort is actually a condition for this kind of learning. We, we need to be comfortable. And, and then um, as a first movement, no, the start position will be have your feet standing. So the feet are standing, but you're not on top of your feet. It, only your knees are on top, kind of on top of your feet. And last time we did this arm thing where we observed where it's neutral. And, and that was fairly easy because you could use your eyes and you are used to use your eyes to observe things. And um, now we observe things with our feelings. So some people are very good at that and some people have room for improvement. And now we, um, let's start with, it was the left hand. So put, please, please put your left hand behind your head. So your head is resting in your hand. And okay, so we have this, and and then we were talking about tension, effort. Like how much how much effort do you use to hold your hand? Because actually, if you if you 
don't make a ball with your hand and if you if you would fully let go probably your head would roll off your hand doesn't it because your hand is shaped like a, a wedge and if it's not shaped like a, a wedge I, I think it's not a hand because obviously the wrist is thicker than your fingers so it's a it's a wedge so your hand will always roll off your head will roll off your hand um, so already there's tension, effort, parasitic effort or um, ten tension that eats up resources that our brain is busy with balancing the head on the hand and these are resources we need because we cannot just like Google buy another 1000 computers uh, 500 more brains to we have to to work with what we've got. I know, uh, so we can pity ourselves. We only have what we have, but we can. I mean, let's say it's beautiful. And um, with your right hand, uh, hold your right knee. So with your right hand, get hold of your right knee. And then the left hand, so the head is already turned, so I, I use that my, to my advantage, so I can look at you. Um, and then... Okay, let's go again. I let everything fall. So when you're, when you're resting on your back, you're not on your feet, obviously, so where do you touch the floor? Where does your weight pass from your body to the floor but there's a structure and this structure has a way of uh, pushing and supporting itself so uh, so we can keep the volume we are the volumes volumes need to be stable we need to keep our form my nose is the same nose the same shape no matter i stand or lie down and so is my heart and my liver and yours uh, maybe some parts flatten a little bit <laughs> What will happen next? You lean against your heels, of course, when the heels or when your feet are standing and then your, your buttocks and you're somewhere on your back. But, but are you leaning more on your left or are you leaning more on your right when you're flat on the floor? Is your nose turned more to the right or is it turned more to the left? Are you leaning more towards the top of your head or more to the base of your neck? Where, where is your leaning points and are you, how are we able to feel, feel them and how are we able to improve our sensation? Our sensor, sensor, sensory equipment. Sensory, sensor and then of course movement and sensing and movement are closely related so the better we are able to sense, the better we are going to be able to move. How can we improve this um, ability to sense through a movement sequence? So, here we have it. I built it for you. So, start with the movement sequence. Um, stand your feet, <laughs> bring your left hand behind your head. Of course, the head rolls off and with your right hand hold your knee of course the knee would fall to the outside of course the whole thing would collapse if you don't hold it it's it's messy we need tension in the body and this tension already removes the opportunity to feel so we, we need to relax and do it really slowly to overcome that obstacle already, which this constraint, this, this first position requires of us. Like when the sun is out, we cannot see the stars. Well, yeah, but some stars are really bright, so maybe we can see them. Sometimes we can see the moon in the daytime. But actually, if we wait, when it gets, it's easier to see. So we wait. We wait until we become more relaxed. Let's remove 
let's, let's remove all of it. Please come to lie back onto your back. And in your mind, imagine your right knee. And bring your head in a position so that the head is in a line with your right leg. So your right leg, probably the right foot is a little bit apart from the midline and then the leg is coming up to your hip joint and then imagine this line like if you would place a stick over your right leg so you put your head in the same line as your right leg okay and put the broomstick over your right leg align the broomstick with your right leg and the broomstick goes up, up to your head and the head is in line with your right leg. And then lift your head to see your right knee. And when your head is up, your head is not on the floor anymore. <laughs> right? So... Where did the weight of your head go? It's not on the floor anymore. So the, the weight of your head passes to the floor through your chest. You lean again, like you lean more. You can use your hands like I do now because it's strenuous. So I'm, my nose is pointing to my right knee. It's on, on the same line and, and you can feel the weight of your head <clears throat> is past. You're leaning more. You're leaning more. Somewhere. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> let's return to the first movement. Stand your feet. Bring your left hand behind your head, your right hand on your knee and then move your left elbow towards your right knee. And bring your head back again. Um, do this movement a couple of times and you will feel when you lift your head you will feel when your head is on the floor, the, the weight is passed through your left hand to the floor. And once you lift it, suddenly, suddenly the weight is in your chest and it's to the right of your spine. It's not symmetrical. It's on the right side of your spine. And the higher you lift your head, the further down this point travels on your, on your back, towards your lower back. And when you bring down your head, it's more on your right shoulder blade and then it's more and more centered until you're back on the floor. And then come to rest again on your back. And when you rest, see... Feel, sense how you're lying, lying, where's your weight on your back, on which side of your spine. If you lean more on one side than the other, yeah, <laughs> you see, you see, you see how fast it is how easy it is to become more aware. So, um, I, have I have plenty of lessons here on YouTube. You can, uh, there's plenty of lessons everywhere, easy to find them. And you do a lesson. So this would be the easiest to do a flexion lesson like this, where you have like all kinds of variations of, of flexion and observe how you change your leaning point and this will make a huge difference in how you will perceive yourself throughout the day for the forever 
So, um, uh, I, I hope this uh, video format is not getting too um, informal for you. Um, it, it is very serious, but at the same time, it's not so serious. And I hope you liked it. I hope you got something out of it. If you liked it, please uh, put a like. If you didn't like it, um, there's plenty of other things you can see on YouTube. Um, and then uh, leave a comment, share what you experienced during the lesson. Um, yeah, I'm curious to, to know what you think of it. Okay, see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>